Oh, hover boy. Let's take this hover out. Can we take the hover out? If we just actually just eliminate his hovers, you know, he doesn't have that many hovers, so. His gun should be easy to come off now. He's less mobile. Of course, I probably should have went for guns at first, but isn't it fun watching hovers squirm a little bit, though? You know? The Aurora is actually, it's kind of painful, the damage they do. It counts for this is a slow kill. Get melted! This should be a good amount of XP, I'm not gonna lie. Holy smokes, almost 6,000 uh, XP in the Dawn's Children there. So this is actually pretty massive. Uh, what would have been 1,000 reputation is 5,600 reputation. Pretty insane. What is going on fellow wastelanders shock radio here welcome back to the channel today the devs released some news where you can earn 50 percent bonus reputation in battle for the weekend until december 3rd so i thought it might be a good opportunity to talk about reputation and how you can earn more of it in battle by using flags decor and things like that and also we're going to show you some pvp of how much uh, reputation you can actually earn by running the highest tier faction flag in the wasteland so definitely stay tuned for that it's probably one of the most rewarding things about being a new player in the wasteland and that is earning the parts as you level up from all these various factions and there are hundreds of parts to earn in the wasteland and what starts out to be a very quick process of earning parts and unlocking things in the wasteland quickly becomes very grueling as the amount of reputation you need to earn to level up these parts increases as you level up. And it is the only thing you cannot buy with money. So what is bonus reputation and how can you get bonus reputation in Crossout? Well, there's two primary ways to get bonus reputation, and that is one, putting decor on your vehicle. You can get up to 25% bonus XP gain by running 25% decor bonus. It caps out. Uh, you can also run a faction flag, various uh, um, tiers of faction flag from the rares all the way up to epics, and you can get 30%, up to I believe 90% uh, reputation bon bonus by running various faction flag. And you get these various faction flags by going to the different factions under whatever workbench you want to craft the faction flag at. Uh, and there it is up at the top. This one is a rare faction flag that gives you a 20% bonus reputation with a 10% team reputation bonus. And like I said, they go all the way up to the purples where you get a 90% bonus rep and then 10% bonus reputation from your team. Now the flags stack if there are members of your team a part of the same faction as you. Right here, if you look on the screen, you can see that the player at the bottom, RO30, has the Dawn's Children flag next to his name. That is an example of an instance where he is going to be, that player is going to be gaining reputation bonus from the Dawn's Children flag that my build is running. And I will add only one faction flag can be installed on a car. So you cannot run like an engineer flag and a Dawn's Children flag on your car. You have to team up with a friend to have the stacking bonus effect. And if you're on a budget and you're trying to get some decor for your ride, you can simply go look at common decor on the market. Very, very cheap. Yeah, literally pennies and dollars for common decor. So you can definitely load up your car there. It gets more expensive as you get into the higher tier parts because you need less decor on your car for the bonuses. And if, you know, running 25 decor pieces, if you had to run all commons, that's a lot of armor you would potentially be sacrificing for decor. And decor does not have any kind of armor it does not stop the blast radius so there's no blast wave reduction with decor no cannon shots go right through decor no bueno another way you can get bonus reputation in crossout is by having a premium subscription i'm not sponsored by crossout it's just me saying this is a good thing to have if you enjoy playing it i would highly recommend waiting for them to have a special they should be running a yearly special coming up soon where the the yearly premium subscription is only like 20 or 30 dollars normally it's like 12 or 13 dollars a month in the shop using cross crowns so definitely take a look for that sale for the yearly subscription and without further ado we're gonna get right into some pvp using a triple aurora build on a pilgrim cabin running capped out 25 percent decor with 100 percent dawn's children flag bonus so let's see how much reputation we can earn in the wasteland during this weekend's event 
All right, looks like we're loading in here on Old Town with a bunch of min-max confrontation builds. See if we can pull out a dub, but we have our faction flag rolling hot. It's a lot of reputation earned, so honestly, if we can just get like five, six hundred points at least, it should be pretty nice. Uh, let me get out of the, I'm in the open. There we go. Take him out. Going with our team here. We are running over kings, so that's not a good look. Oh, hover boy! Let's take this hover out. Can we take the hover out? If we just actually just eliminate his hovers, you know, he doesn't have that many hovers, so. His guns should be easy to come off now. He's less mobile. Of course, I probably should have went for guns at first, but isn't it fun watching hovers squirm a little bit, though, you know? Nice. The Aurora is actually, it's kind of painful, the damage they do. You know, really bad. Like, this is a slow kill. My one Aurora is not firing, though. I need to fix that. Get melted! Alright, where's the other one? This should be a good amount of XP, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> so breaking it down for you guys, holy smokes, almost 6,000 uh, XP in the Dawn's Children there. And if you hover over the reputation, we can see in our Engineers faction, we earned a bonus of 50% from premium subscription. Current event was plus 50% for the weekend. We have our decor bonus of 25%. So 2,800 reputation for our engineers. Over in Dawn's Children, the same applied. However, we had the additional Dawn's Children flag mounted for 90% and 10% bonus. So we earned 5,600 reputation. Now to put it in perspective, I need, what is that, uh, 1 million? Yeah, I need 1 million reputation. Uh, to level up Dawn's Children. So to prestige your factions, you need 1 million reputation once you get to like the highest level. So this is actually pretty massive. Uh, what would have been 1,000 reputation is 5,600 reputation. Pretty insane. All right, guys, I hope that video helped you guys earn some XP out there in the wasteland unlock those amazing parts if this video helps you definitely give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want more cross out content links in the description below if you would like to support the channel and check out some shock radio merchandise as well as our patreon thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video